Uh, I just need to jump in with some sad news that we've just had from police. A third person has been confirmed uh, dead after, obviously, the flooding in Auckland that we're talking about now. A police spokesman says earlier today, fire and emergency New Zealand staff working at a property on uh, Shore Road uh, found one person's body. Police will now be making inquiries on behalf of the coroner. There is still one person um, still missing after being swept away. Kia ora and welcome back to an absolutely miserable, wet, horrible summer's day. It's garbage. Up in Auckland, overnight and through the day, they've been absolutely hammered by rain. Serious, severe flooding throughout the city. There has been a loss of life. Obviously, thoughts are with the, uh, the loved ones and family members, friends of the victims. In our region, we're about maybe five, six hours drive away from Auckland. And it's just rain here. It's been steady, consistent, not particularly heavy rain, but just steady, consistent rain. I'm working this weekend, and today being the Saturday, I had a number of events to attend. Everyone has been cancelled or postponed. That's actually left me with a, with a few hours free this afternoon. I've been driving around quite a bit, getting photographs of these venues and events that have fallen foul of the weather. So I'm thinking, get the waterproofs on, grab the Leica Q2, head up into the hills, and just, just have a bit of a walk, stretch my legs try and make a few photographs. I'm thinking the higher up the hill I get, the more clagged in, the more misty it's gonna be. And that will hopefully make for some atmospheric shots because stunning, vibrant, dramatic light is not what we're gonna to get today. What I might actually do is slip the Q2 into JPEG mode, which will allow me to use one of the black and white simulations. I think I've never used them before, so I'm gonna give it a go. Why not? We might as well shoot everything black and white from the off. Let's get out there because sat in here, I'm trying to talk myself out of getting out, but uh, it's got to be done. Let's get it done. Come on.
I'm at the highest point of the park. I'm going to turn around here, head back down the hill, snap off a few shots as I go along, if I see anything interesting. Other than that, you're stuck with what you've got. Anybody that's slightly interested in the technical information, I've shot everything, ISO 100, F8, and I'm getting anywhere between an 80th and 200th of a second, depending on the availability of light. And uh, let me tell you, it's probably an 80th at the moment, because it's quite dull. You've got driving rain, wind, mist, all the good stuff. I think I made some nice photographs, or some acceptable photographs. Time will tell, let me know what you think. And every time I take a shot, yeah, cheap. Every time I take a shot, I'm covering the camera up, putting it back in the bag, keeping it out of the rain as much as possible. And I do know the Cube 2 is weather sealed, but it's not a thousand percent weather sealed, as I've been told before in the comments. So uh, just be careful when you use these sort of cameras. As long as you're careful with them, sensible with them, which I'm not, you should be okay. All right, I've had enough. Let's turn around, head back down the hill. experiment shooting black and white with the Q2. On the back of the camera everything looks sweet. I've put it into JPEG mode obviously and into the monochrome mode. Minus two on the high contrast setting. Uh, I do like contrasty shots. Let's see if we've achieved a few contrasty shots today. Now I just want to send some, uh, some goodwill to the good folk of Auckland who are going through some absolutely horrendous weather. Serious flooding. If you've not seen the flooding in, uh, in Auckland, check it out. They keep saying it's biblical on the radio. Some of the footage looks pretty uh, pretty grim to me. Kia kaha to the Fano in Tamaki Makauro. All the best guys and until next time, thanks for watching. Kakite ano. Thank mm -hmm. you.